Buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches in, y bienvenidos a la clase de español. Um, we're going to start with the verse of the day. Here it is. This happens when Jesus had fed the crowds. Now he had started out with a small amount of resources and he miraculously multiplied it to be able to take care of everybody. So this is in the middle of that familiar story where Jesus is feeding the large crowd. La gente comió hasta quedar satisfecha. Después los discípulos recogieron siete cestas llenas de pedazos que sobraron. Marcos 8, 8. La gente is, you know, people. La gente comió. Now that's a word that you should recognize. La gente comió the people eight hasta until now you know when you say like hasta luego or hasta mañana or hasta la vista that means until um until later until tomorrow um until life baby you know hasta hasta means until la gente comió hasta quedar satisfecha until they were satisfied um, this is not just the, the bare minimum here that Jesus shows here. He shows this amazing generosity to take care of his people. Um, and then after, what was left over was even more than they'd had originally. Um, and so, again, you only have to, um, as we've done in class before, you only have to write down the underlined part and, of course, the reference. Marcos 8.8 ocho, ocho, and the reference. Um, and that will be the last verse for this week since tomorrow is Good Friday. And so make sure that you turn in all the four verses for this week onto the part for online week two. Turn in your four verses or, you know, one picture of all four verses um, to get credit for that. All right, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for who you are and your generosity with us, Lord. We thank you for giving us what we need. And I ask if any students don't have what they need right now, that you would provide them with what they need. Thank you for being a God who gives us peace. Thank you for being a God who provides and who sees um, and a God of hope that we know that we will one day be with you in glory where there's going to be no disease and no hunger and no fear and no sadness, Lord, and no being apart from the people that we love, Lord. Um, we thank you for being that God and we thank you for that hope. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so um, you won't hear much from me for today because I'll show you when you get on to your Google Classroom, it should say Edpuzzle Preterite Tense. And this is similar to what you did last week. If you click on it, you know, it should go here. It has multiple choice questions that'll stop in the video and it will ask you um, all these different questions. Now, since it's connected to Google Classroom, I will automatically, um, I'll get your responses. So all you have to do is take care of that for today. All right, um, just take care. And uh, I'll just tell you what it's about though. It's about the preterite tense. Now we've been using the preterite tense a lot in our stories. Um, you know, comió, hizo, vio, dijo. Now this video just goes into uh, an explanation of the different endings um, and so you take this quiz it's it's a quiz to make sure that you're watching and listening to the video as it's teaching you preterite tense which is the past again we have been using it but it's a review of all the endings instead of just the la usted form so this is a good uh, it'll be a good reference for me to see how much uh, you learned and how much i need to teach from my end based on this um, so give it your best effort and have a nice long weekend um and i miss you guys and i love you and god loves you adios hasta luego